it's sometimes useful for one program to set things up and then replace itself with a different program. But more commonly what you want to do is in a program start another one as a separate and new process while the original program keeps running. And so we put the pieces together here for this final example. Uh, this is a program that's going to run bin ls, which is the ls program you run all the time. It's going to pass it a dash lt flag and show the contents of the include directory. Um, and then this null here is terminating the argument. This program is going to print that it's about to list user include. Then it forks. And in the child process only, it runs the ls program, which is the same as uh, argv0 here, passing along those arguments and the current environment. It waits for that child process to finish. So it waits for ls to finish doing its work. Um, and then it prints done listing. So we really should see this printout, then the result from ls, and then done listing. Let's call this ls.c. It's our program that's going to run bin ls. Um, and compile it. We'll just call it a.out from ls.c. I forgot csf again. And we run it. And we can see ls like output. And those files should look like the kind of thing you see in user include. We see before all of that, uh, it was listing user include. And then at the end, done listing. Again, that order is predictable because we had the printf, then the fork, then a wait, and then another printf.